Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Project Lightning. Another quick little video. Uh, today I'm discussing uh, covers for the battery terminals on the Chevy Bolt battery modules. Um, so you can see over on this side, I have created uh, a 3D printed a little battery cover that I wanna show off. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is tell you why this is necessary. Um, so between these two posts, um, right now like, I don't have any issue with even if I could touch the metal pieces of touching these. And that is because there's roughly uh, like 35-ish volts between these two terminals. Um, and that's just not enough to bridge your skin resistance. And so um, you can touch it and it's not a, not a big deal. Um, however, if you were to take a metal tool or for example, a threaded rod, uh, for example, the exact kind of threaded rod that you can see going through right here. <laughs> if, uh, if you were to, say, put it here and then accidentally roll this off and it bridges these two things, you're going to have a really bad day. So what's going to happen is even though it's 40 volts, this battery can supply uh, like maybe a thousand amps. Uh, and so when it does that, uh, it basically is just going to weld this threaded rod between the two posts and everything is going to melt and you're going to have a really, really bad time. Um, and so it might not be the threaded rod. You might have uh, a wrench, you know, or uh, something else. Maybe if you're moving two of the batteries, uh, you know, together and trying to stack them, you might bridge it across here. So anyway, super dangerous. Um, and so there needs to be something to cover these. And for a, a while, what I've had is just like some tape basically wrapped up and it's just not super good. So here's my solution. I 3D printed these little covers, um, as you can see over here. And so this is a 10 millimeter nut. And if you put this down here, I designed this little cap. And so you see it fits over there, um, kind of loosely, but you know, good enough. And then on top of it, I have a little 3D printed 10 millimeter nut, and this will just go right on top. Uh, this is not threaded. This is just straight from the 3D printer. Uh, I do a very good job putting it on there. Well, you know what? Screw it, doesn't matter. Uh, and then this is a 10 millimeter wrench. And if you just do it that amount, um, that prevents this from coming off of here. Um, and if you keep going and make it tight, you don't want to make it too, not too, too tight because you'll strip uh, this out because it's just PLA. Um, and there you go. So now this is very secure and this is you know tight and it's not going to come off. And now I don't need to worry if I have a threaded rod here. Um, I'm still not going to keep it too close. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so um, these pieces, uh, uh, I, it took me about three times to make these uh, designs properly. Once you loosen them, then you can remove them um, and put them on fairly easily because it basically taps itself into the plastic there. Um, so this uh, took three iterations for both the nut and the top piece. So here's my first try. Uh, this was just like, hey, is this general concept going to work? And I 3D printed it all wrong. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I didn't have the scaling right. I just went from basic memory to get the sizing. And so that didn't work. Um, the second try was this here, and uh, I just didn't have the notch right there, and so it doesn't sit flush. And so the third design takes that into account and sits exactly how I want to do it. Uh, for these nuts, the first nut I tried was just a hex. These are really easy to 3D print, uh, but the size was incorrect. So um, this is too large. So you can't use a 10 millimeter socket. And then from there, I went to this design with like the integrated little washer on that. And the issue with this one was that it was, <laughs> it 
<laughs> it's too small. <laughs> so too large, too small. And then the final design here uh, is exactly the right dimension. So it just took a little bit of uh, fiddling with it. Uh, so there we go, that works really great. And if you would like to get a copy of this, you can find the 3D files up on Thingiverse for free.